little bit of South Mumbai charm and some amazing food coming up in this video. everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm here in South Mumbai. Right now I'm in the Kala Ghoda area and uh, this is just classic South Mumbai feels and I'm just here to spend the day and we'll see how it goes. I am getting hungry so let's just go grab some lunch at Fountain Sizzlers. Come on! Starting the day with some sizzlers, or cottage cheese, the paneer shashlik sizzler. We requested them to give us a mix of rice and noodles. There's a smoky barbecue sauce, there's cottage cheese, crinkle fries. Mountain Sizzlers is like this really old legendary place here and uh, the reason we came here is because my sister has never ever been here so I thought it'll make for a good thing to enjoy on the weekend. The sauce is actually super super smoky. It's not very spicy, it's medium spicy. But I have to have this like super garam garam. The flavor of pepper in this is so strong. In fact, that is giving it that super hot aftertaste. And the fact that it's sizzling hot is just adding to it. All the veggies, everything is so, so yum. We also have a little bit of uh, cheese here. Did you like it? The cost of the paneer shastrik sizzler is Rs. 760. So that was a super satisfying meal at Fountain Sizzlers and it's been a while since I had anything here and it just felt good to be back. And now we're going to be heading for some dessert. So let's go to the next place. The next place that we're heading to is Kala Ghoda Cafe. I told you guys I want to have dessert and I absolutely love the dessert here. They actually even have uh, food now. It started off as a cafe but it's grown to be a full-fledged restaurant and even a bar. But I just love the dessert here. So come on, let's go inside and enjoy it. One of my favorite here is the chocolate almond cake. They don't serve it with ice cream. I always order ice cream extra on the side. And this is made of almond flour. So it's technically a flourless cake and uh, it's chocolate flavored. I also really enjoy their carrot cake, but today we're in the mood for something chocolate. So let's just have the first bite. this so many times I don't know how to describe it to you guys it's not a very dry cake it's quite a moist cake and with all the cream and ice cream this is like just wow the flavor of chocolate is a little bit on the bitter side so it's dark chocolate this is easily one of the best cakes I've ever had The price of the chocolate almond cake along with vanilla ice cream is Rs. 488. It is quite a heavy dessert. It is on the expensive side but in terms of flavour, quality, I would absolutely recommend it. Now time to head to the next place. We need a bit of a break from all of that indulgence. So there is a Zara here and it is actually the best one and probably the biggest one in the city. So let's go here, kill some time and work up an appetite for the next meal. This is probably the biggest Zara in the city and in my opinion, the best one too. They have pretty much the entire range and I've noticed that stuff that I find here, I don't find in other Zara outlets, at least in Mumbai. 
It's four stories, I think, and has the first two floors for women and one for men and kids. What I like is the feel of this area. Definitely gives vintage Mumbai vibes and honestly, it's an experience to shop here. Driving around town too has its own charm. Here we are heading towards Kolaba and you can see the iconic Taj Mahal Palace, the tower and the gateway. We actually wanted to head to a place called Cafe Marina inside a Sea Palace Hotel in Mumbai for a gorgeous sundown view. But there was a barat going on and because of the blocked road, we couldn't head in. That's one of the best rooftop views of Mumbai. So we decided to head to another place with an equally gorgeous, if not better view. After driving around for a bit, we stopped by the Oberoi. It's one of the most luxurious hotels in Mumbai and the sunset view from here is so underrated. Their coffee shop has a view of Nariman Point and watching the sun go down feels therapeutic and how. a limited but interesting menu at the coffee shop and this also includes high tea but we're just tempted to make an early dinner out of this visit so pizza it is so here we have the primavera pizza filled with lots and lots and lots of seasonal veggies olives peppers onion tomato It's hot and it's beautifully done. It's not over crispy, it's not over soggy, like, you know, proper, proper authentic pizza. It's just right. For me, what's amazing is the sheer texture of the pizza. Not feeling like a wood-fired one, but still it's beautifully done. Not over soggy, not too thin, not overly crispy. It's just right. Another thing that's excellent is the generosity with which they've added the veggies. I mean, a lot of people, they, you know, really skimp on the vegetables when they're adding them to the pizza. But here, it is just right again. And even the sauce, it doesn't feel bland at any point. So that pizza cost us 1500 something and uh, it was a very very filling a very satisfying pizza and now we're just walking around inside the hotel we've reached the trident and if you guys remember i did film a complete staycation at the trident and uh, i'm gonna link that video down below in the description box in case you've missed it but yeah this is the trident coffee shop and lobby actually even have a shopping center with like a lot of premium brands inside but I think it's evening and it's probably already shut down so I don't think we're going to be able to take a look at that but you can get an idea of some of the brands that are here they include Rolex, Gucci, probably even Coach, I'm not too sure but a lot of premium high-end brands. There's something so luxurious about this place. Just look at the lobby, it is so beautiful. Here they have the red piano. I think in Trident they have a black one, I can't remember. Strolling across the super super gorgeous pool side, so beautifully done. And the view that you get when you're standing on the other side is that of Nariman Point. So that concludes our very fun, kind of a bit touristy day out in Mumbai. Let me know if you like to watch this kind of content so I can film some more such touristy vlogs. Oh, and we did drive by Queen's Necklace too. Not the most visible since the lights weren't looking great, but good fresh air. If you enjoyed this video, then do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. And if you are from Mumbai, then do let me know your favorite area to hang out here. We'll wait for your comments and see you in my next video. Bye!